Hey, folks, Daily Lands blog for... Mm, I screwed what it up. What starts with an M? I was going to say Monday. I was going to say Monday. It's not even Monday. No, it's not even Monday. You were going to say Monday. Monday. So, gonna say March, weren't you? No. Yeah. I was, gonna say, I was actually going to say Monday, February 4th. All right. I don't know why, but... My birthday. Yeah, yeah that's what you're thinking of. You know what? You get birthday, birthday is on a Monday this year. You know how I know? Because the Super Bowl, Bowl is on, on a Sunday on the 3rd. Everything yeah. measures not around your sister's birthday, but around the Super Bowl. So this is the Daily Lands blog for the 6th of January, 2019. And we were talking about the debilitating anxiety that, that you and I feel that um, is based around worry over yourself. Yeah. Like I went to the doctor, and this is kind of like my most famous story in my head. I was sure that I had MS. Uh, and uh, I mean, I actually, I can, I can follow this up with, with stories that have actually gone on for years and years and years. But you but don't I, have MS. I do not have I mean, MS. I, I feel like I, I've never actually heard the story, but I feel like I know where this is going. Well, yeah, you do. Because, I, I mean, I think you would have found out a long time ago if I had multiple sclerosis. But I, I feel like you went there because, like, your hands were shaking. It was my, my, it was my were, two legs. My legs felt weak. Were you and drinking of course, too much coffee? Well, Does that have anything to do with I don't know. I don't know. I think it had today? something to do with nothing wrong with me. So I, 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 I went to the doctor, uh, Dr. Ray Lake, who I think understands uh, my... Uh, my situation, and I said to him, uh, Doctor Lake, you know, I'm I'm a little worried um, because I, I I feel this this weakness in my legs, and he said, Well, what are you worried about? And I said, MS. And he said to me, He said, Ah, that's that's a pretty uh, pretty good call, but wrong because you wouldn't have it in identical places in both legs. It doesn't hit you that way. So it was like, Okay, so you're sure yeah. that I don't have MS? Yes. Can I go? Okay, now? I'm no, done with no, it. Said, there was nothing else. There was nothing else that I said cared that, about. And when he said that to you, did you feel instantly better? Instantly better. So like there was nothing wrong. With instantly either better. Of your legs? But I, I have done this thing that uh, I've never told anyone this. But I have felt like sometimes half my body is weaker than the other half. So I have actually, Case, can you, can you, uh, are you, are you good with this? I don't want to stand up so, so people see my sweat. So pants. I've done this where I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hold on to a railing or something. And I'll, I'll do calf raises to see if my left side is as strong as my right side. Don't get side. my sweatpants in here. I don't want anyone seeing my sweatpants. So I'll do, I'll do like my left side. I'll do that. And I'll go, okay, I could do 25 of those. Yeah. Then I'll go to my right side. Uh-oh, I'm at 20. In uh, and I'll now, go, now oh I've my got, gosh. Now I've got Parkinson's. Yeah, something. I have but done that. But you have everyone as a weaker side. Uh, it, it doesn't matter in that situation. Like I'm, uh, it's have just. You ever, so you, one of the side effects from your medication is when you stand up quickly. Yes, sometimes I feel like I'm going to faint. Yeah, so that happens to me too when I take, like I take Ritalin every day to help me concentrate. And if I stand up eight hours after taking it, it usually wears off after about eight hours. If I stand up after eight hours and I feel a bit dizzy, I've convinced myself I have a brain tumor. And even if it's, even if I can look at my watch and say I took it at 4 a.m., I understand why it's wearing off when it is. I still can't make sense of that. And it's like your body, your brain goes to worst case scenario no matter what. There's What's no, it called? Something about hypochondria. I have no. Say it, case. You're on it. No, I'm giving catastrophizing. It See, a normal person. I've thought of this many times. Like a normal person would start off here. One sec. No, I was just you, worried that. Oh, you I'm just, don't know what I'm gonna do. No, I was just so worried like, that the, my right side was a little weaker than my left side. Sorry. A normal person would start off here, and there would be gradual steps before they said to themselves, "Okay, I have cancer." But for me, it starts off here, and there's no steps. It's just like you've jumped to ten steps further than where you are. And I can convince myself a hundred times that I have cancer, but I can't convince myself once that this is anxiety, and that's a problem. And I don't know if anyone knows how to deal with that. Let's let's find out. And mm-hmm. I and I also, okay, you want me to keep going? Go. I feel like I'm rambling now. Yeah, what, what we're, time at, are we we're at four, four minutes. Four minutes. Oh my god, we got to wrap this up. But we got to say, if you've got ideas on how we clearly can handle this better, the idea that everything is a catastrophe, there's no such thing as a minor illness. Then let us know. Try to communicate it in any way, either on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or any. Or call me at home for God's sakes. Unless I'm at the doctor. And by the way, waiting for the doctor to call about tests? Yeah, that's that's Yikes. Yeah, it's a whole other lens blog. Don't call me at home. What's that? Don't call me. Say people call me at home. Oh. Don't call me. Okay, you can call me. No, don't call me. I don't even have a house. 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here uh, because uh, we need answers.